thought I would just try uh, showing you something different. Uh, during the week, I hurt my my right hand I, gardening. I didn't end up being able to film the writing sample for my pen review. I am going to film that writing sample yet this afternoon, but uh, I wasn't able to do it because my <laughs> it hurt and uh, the writing looked like a child had scribbled all over the paper. So I thought I'd do a little bit extra video this week. I was at church of like I do every week, and I thought I'd take you around the church. So this is a video where I just walked around the church for a few minutes with the iPad. And, you know, it's a small church. It didn't take very long. So I hope you enjoy. I give you a little insight into my world. And, yeah, have a great day. And I promise my hand is better. I can bend everything again. I can hold pens without it hurting. So I'll be doing that writing sample and be doing other videos soon. In fact, I might record a couple ahead today. Not with this lighting. This is horrible. I'm sitting in the kitchen just my oh boy, it's all backwards. Yeah, I don't actually have a missing half of a face there, see? <laughs> all right. We'll see you later. I'll try that again. I'm here at the church. I thought I'd give you a quick tour, but I just noticed a flower. It's kind of pretty. Let's see here. Focus. Yeah, see, that's not a bad looking flower. Okay. Church. Anyway, uh, this is the entrance. As you can see, there's no steeple on the building. Uh, the part you're looking at here is what, 102 years old because it was built in 1914. I usually enter through the side, but we'll give you the full experience here. Whoops, including getting hit. Okay, we'll try this again. I'm here on the entrance way. It isn't much. <laughs> uh, apparently I had to adjust the exposure there. Bright window. Nice view out the window though. <laughs> it's not every church that gets that outside their entranceway window. Anyway, we'll enter the sanctuary here. Not much. And like I said, this part is a hundred years old. This is where I'm thinking even more wide angle no exposure. <laughs> I'm learning. Doing this on an iPad, so it's not real pretty. Okay, pulpit. That uh, is an electric organ that doesn't work, but they keep it because somebody donated it, and I just think, throw it away, but yeah. Uh, this is an old pump organ. You actually have to pedal with your feet to play it. A piano, which is actually a player piano, but uh, we don't have the music for it. Elderly heating system. And we'll look just toward the back where we just came in. So, yeah. Now, we're going to walk through this door here beside the pulpit. This back here was actually an old homestead, uh, the Banfield house, that was dragged down by a team of horses back in the 20s after the Banfield moved out of it. And it became the kitchen and dining room for the church. We uh, did some repainting. I'm proud to say I came up with that creation for the ceiling. Uh, we, we bought some new chairs for our centennial. Here is uh, some of the famous people of the church's history. More famous people. Uh, I actually have the scrapbook at home. Uh, some of these people are still alive. Uh, actually, just one of those people. This guy isn't, but this guy is a Civil War veteran who moved to the area. I'll show you one of these flags here. This is kind of interesting. Do you notice anything funny about that flag compared to the flag you're used to? Uh, these are our table de decorations at Memorial Day. Uh, this flag here was given to a World War I soldier, which might give you a clue what's wrong with it. Um, after he died, actually in the very closing days of the First World War. In fact, it's, yeah, there's his picture. There's my great big gut hanging out over his picture. But that's him. That is his funeral. And somewhere I have a picture of a whole bunch of cars. Funeral too. I don't know where it went. Uh, anyway, I'll take you through the kitchen. Well, actually, let's take a peek out the back window. 
It's not many churches where you look out the back window and you see, what are those? That is our restroom facilities. Yes, we have outhouses because it's an old church. That is a poison, which when I, I'm going to put up new stuff next weekend, it's for bugs. We had a big fly problem. I'm going to hide it behind this Venetian blind and then we won't see it. <laughs> but it sure has had a fly problem in here. I, that's another one of my creations. When we redid this church, uh, well, we didn't redo the church, but when we did some fixing up, I found that online. It's just uh, cheap plastic, but it looks good. There was a tablecloth glued there before, so I think that's a step up. Uh, we did finally replace the refrigerator up until a year ago. That was a really old 1930s refrigerator. Well, probably 1950s, because they didn't get electricity here until the 50s. I donated the microwave. I have one in my house. I don't need one. Uh, that actually works, which is interesting. That's a whole, hmm, you know what this is? Doesn't We don't use it anymore, of course. Uh, this is a hot water tank. Uh, no sink in here. That is our sink. We have to bring water from home. Stove. I'm not brave enough to try baking in it, but... Uh, no, oh, it's there. Kitchen counter again. This, uh, we need to get, I forget what the part's called, but we need one there to hold that door shut on the cupboard. And yeah, that's pretty much my church. I don't run water. I, I feel weird about taking it to an outhouse. There's another bug catcher. I, if I had that to do over, I wouldn't put it by the window on the door. So next time it won't be. Gravel pile for the county out there, and that is a shed. And uh, over there, there used to be a school back there, but it's gone now. Um, yeah, I don't know how to point it out, but just trust me, there was one. Anyway, that is my church. I thought you'd enjoy just the chance to see where I'm driving away from every week. We, uh, in this dining room here, let me turn around again. We, after every service, we'll sit and we'll have uh, lunch together and visit. So that's kind of neat. I... I haven't gone to many churches where they do a full lunch. So fun. Anyway, hope that was interesting. I'll wander back out here. I'm just going to keep walking because I'm curious to see what the auto exposure does with this. Oh, much better. I don't know what I was doing wrong the first time. Christmas tree. Window with fence. And we're going home. And it likes it. Okay. Quick view, I'll just standing on the front steps. Yeah, it is, the iPad doesn't pick it up well, but it's very rolling country. It's not as flat as you'll think, as you'll find in North Dakota further east. Yep, there's my car. All right, so I hope you have a good week.